Hi everybody, in this video we're going to be calculating the average atomic mass for magnesium. First, let's go ahead and find magnesium on the periodic table. You're going to see that it is found right here. It is an alkaline earth metal, which has an average atomic mass of 24.305. There are actually three naturally occurring isotopes of magnesium. They are magnesium 24, magnesium 25, magnesium 26. They are not found in equal abundance. They are actually found at different levels. Magnesium 24 makes up 78.99% of all magnesiums that are present on our planet. Magnesium 25 makes up 10%. Magnesium 26 makes up just over 11%. Because these different isotopes are not found at equal levels, we can't just add up their masses and divide by three and think that's going to be the average. We have to have some way of working with the fact that magnesium 24 is contributing so much more to the average because again, when we're looking at a sample of magnesium atoms, most of them are going to be this version. So here's our strategy. We're going to take the actual mass for the different isotopes, 24, uh, sorry, 23.98504 for magnesium 24. We're going to multiply that by the decimal form of the abundance. So we need to change 78.99 to 0.7899. And we're going to multiply that by this value of 23.98504. I'm going to do the same thing for magnesium 25. 24.98584 AMUs is going to multiply by 0.1000. And finally, for magnesium 26, I'll take the value 25.98259 and multiply that by 0 0.1101. Now, as I'm considering sig figs, I see that all of my abundances were reported with four sig figs. So my values that I've calculated here can all be reported to four sig figs. And I can see from my first number, 18.945783, that one's only going to be reported significant digits two places beyond the decimal. So the average that I'm going to calculate here should be reported as significant two places beyond the decimal. Let's go ahead and add up all these values to determine our average atomic mass. So because I needed to round off sig figs, only two places after the decimal. I'm going to round my answer to 24.31 because my calculator told me the answer was 24.30505. So I am going to round that up. Um, we see here we have very good agreement of our information with the information that's provided on the periodic table. 